Welcome to another video by Ferros Technology. What I want to do today is to take a deep dive into the crosstab query and the things that you can do with it. So let's get started. The easiest way to start with a crosstab query is simply to go to the Create ribbon here and click on the Query Wizard and Crosstab Query is listed among your four query wizards that you have available. Now this one will walk you through choosing the table. In this case, I'm going to choose Dim Transactions and go Next. Then I want to show what row I want in that table as a row heading. And so for a row heading, I'm going to choose the product ID. Now I have the ability to choose up to three fields for my row headings. And I could choose other fields here if I wanted to, if they were appropriate. The way that the crosstab query treats it is just like the aggregate query or the totals query that we talked about in a previous video, where it will group it by that and then everything, all the calculations and stuff will be based on the groupings. So let's, let's move forward with just the one field at this point. I click next and next it asks for column headings up here. And so for my column headings, I want the order date and I'm going to click next. And now it's going to ask me, what do you want me to do with this date? It recognizes that it is a date. So do I want it represented in just years across the top or quarters or by month? Okay, that makes sense. So I'm going to say by quarter for this particular data. And so I leave it by the default actually, and then I click next. Now it wants me to, to tell it what to do with the data in the center part of the crosstab. The focus of the, of the crosstab, of course, is to total the data by criteria on the left and on the top. So the intersections of quarter versus the product ID are going to give me the transaction information in the center. Now, what kind of uh, data do I want in there? Well, what I want is the line total, which actually is the sales order total on each sales order and I want that to be summed. So it's going to say sum of line total here and when I click on next it gives it a, a default name which you could change then and name it anything you need and frankly it's a query so I don't want it to be a dimension so I'm going to change it to query okay. It is a cross tab query it puts the word cross tab at the end. Your naming convention might be different. It's totally up to you. Now I could view the query and you can see the data, but I want to look at the design view because it's a little bit instructive as well. So the way it put everything together now is that it has product ID and you're seeing this total line here, very familiar because we already talked about cross tab queries, but you're seeing the cross tab line down here that allows you to choose the row heading the column headings and the values that are going to be in the middle of those. Okay. So now it also has total of line total here. It added a total field at the end so that it, for completeness. Okay. If we run this, it looks like, like this, it has the total out here. I, a lot of times like to take this total and put it over to the right. And if I save that, then that total will stay on the right. I could give it a different name here by going back to design view and notice it says total of line total. I want to change that to uh, total sales. And I can very quickly pretty things up total sales quarters and product ID. I could just say product code or whatever I wanted to there to make it pretty. Now, what happens if you want to do several tables? The query wizard doesn't let you choose several tables, although it does let you choose a query if you want. But the query comes in as just a, the whole query. So a lot of times I like to build a query and then once I've got it fully built, then I can then change it into a totals query, aggregate query, or I could turn it into a cross step query. So let me show you how that option would work. So I'm going to say yes, I'm going to save that. I'm going to scroll down here. I have a query right here. That's just a select query at this point. And so I'm going to put this in design view. I have the tables set out. I have them linked 
ready to go, I've chosen region and market product category and the revenue, the line total, the total sales. Now, in order to execute this as a cross-tab query, I choose totals here and I can group it here. I can then sum the line total here and I can then group everything else. Now, everything stays grouped and up here there's a cross-tab button here. And if I click cross-tab, then I can go here and choose that this would be my row heading, my row heading, my column heading, and this would be my value in the middle. And manually, I can build out a crosstab with any number of tables or any query style that I want. Now, remember, I still have the same restriction in that I can only choose as many as three row headings. I can only choose one column heading and one value. So it is somewhat restricted. If you need more row headings, for example, you can embed two crosstab queries into each other by making two tables. I address that in another one of my videos. So if you feel this information is valuable, please hit that uh, like button down there. And, and I hope you subscribe to the channel so we can see you again.